Hey guys! What's up? Apple Lion Simba here, and welcome to another episode of Animal Mythbusters. It's time to head back to the prehistoric times. Now, I know I've covered dinosaurs before on this segment, but I found a few more myths that I forgot to debunk the first time around. So, here's Animal Mythbusters Dinosaurs Part 2. Number 1. Stegosaurus had two brains. Now, Stegosaurus probably wouldn't get a vote as the brightest of dinosaurs, given that its brain was about the size of a walnut, but it was long believed that Stegosaurus had two brains, one in its skull and one in its hind quarters. When Othniel Charles Marsh first examined the skeleton of Stegosaurus, he noticed that in addition to its small brain case, the rear section of the spine contained a very large chamber formed by an enlargement of the spinal canal inside the vertebrae of the hips. He noted that this suggestive subject might lead one to believe that the creature had an auxiliary brain in its rear end. And Stegosaurus became known as the dinosaur with two brains, when in actuality, the cavity in the backbone of Stegosaurus was nothing more than a widening of the nerve canal. The same kind of cavity has since been observed in sauropods, birds, and many land vertebrates, but is never occupied by a second brain. Number two, all Mesozoic animals were dinosaurs. Now, Without a doubt, the Mesozoic era was indeed the age of dinosaurs because that's when the dinosaurs reigned supreme. However, not every creature that lived during the Mesozoic era was a dinosaur. There were other types of prehistoric reptiles living around at that time. Like, for example, the aquatic reptiles were either ones like plesiosaurs or ichthyosaurs, and, of course, the flying creatures of the Mesozoic era were the pterosaurs. Speaking of which... Number three, the pterodactyls. Now, when people think of pterosaurs, they usually think of pterodactylus. And yes, there is such a pterosaur as pterodactylus. However... Not every pterosaur was pterodactylus. The pterosaurs were actually a very diverse group of prehistoric reptiles with multiple species such as Pteranodon, Quetzalcoatlus, Ornithochirus, Rampharynchus, and Sierradactylus. Number four, dinosaurs dragged their tails. Now for a long time, Dinosaurs were considered especially reptilian and lizard-like, and they were long believed to have dragged their tails like modern-day lizards, and some dinosaurs are posed with their tails dragging to this day. However, the anatomy of the tailbones and muscles alone suggests this is wrong. In fact, in the 1970s, on the basis of anatomical and trackway evidence, Paleontologists lifted the tails of dinosaurs to balance well clear of the ground. Number five, sauropods lived in swamps or bodies of water. This is another idea that lasted only briefly in scientific circles, but which still appears today in books and media articles. It was long thought that the giant long-necked sauropods were too big to survive on land, so must have walked about while partially submerged in water and gave rise to some legends such as the legend of the Mokele and Bembe. However, this was not true in the slightest because there's fairly obvious problems with sauropods living in the water, such as the fact that they would float and that if submerged that far, their lungs would collapse and fossilized footprints show them walking on land. Number six, T-Rex was a strict scavenger. 
This was one of the biggest debates in the history of paleontology. Because of its enormous size and tiny arms, many believed that Tyrannosaurus rex was not an adept predator, but instead more a scavenger. However, Many fossil evidence proves that T. rex was a very efficient hunter, and some evidence suggests that it even hunted in groups. Well, that was it. My second part of Animal Mythbusters on Dinosaurs. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba, out.